Okay, so I'm going to show you the most easiest way to change the background. So here's a clip of me talking into the camera. A static clip where you're sitting at the same place usually works the best. Right, let's select the clip, go to the color page, and now we need to create the mask. And then first things first, make sure this is selected, make sure the toggle mask overlay is selected, and then just scribble onto the subject. I'm going to make one here as well, just in case. Now this is being selected, you can invert the mask as well if you click this button but for now we want the background to be gone and not me to be gone we're going to add an alpha output so that will remove the background so we need to connect this dot to that dot and now the background is gone you won't see it but if you go back to the edit tab you will see it hey rico from the future here the reason you don't see it is because you have to deselect the mask overlay if you do that in the color tab, then you'll be able to see the mask right there. Let's continue. Now go back to the color tab because we're not done just yet. And make sure this is set to better. If you don't have a lot of time, you can do it on faster or if it's an easy shot like this. But I prefer better always. And then also make sure you tweak some settings like blur ratios, clean black, clean white. And what that does is basically clean white makes the edges a little bit more soft. And clean black will bring them in a little bit, which will refine the mask and make it seem more natural. Right. Right, so we're not done just yet because we need to track it and we're going to use this for that. So it's going to track the frame forward. It's going to track the clip forward. It's going to track the clip backwards with the AI. So right now it's doing its magic. And depending on the hardware that you have in your computer, this may take up quite some time. And once that's done, go back to the edit tab and now the background is gone. But we need a backdrop, so now you can just drag it under the clip. So make sure if it's on the first track, you place your clip on the second track. I'm going to extend this. And before we play this, I want you to remember that this is the easiest way. So you can do this in Fusion as well, because right now if you change anything in the transform menu over here in the inspector tab your mask will be gone and you will have to retrack it so keep that in mind for this version now let me show you the end result by clicking p and then spacebar to play the clip and there you see the background is gone and i thank you all for watching